Dear Mr. Grimm, we here at the magazine consider ourselves and the publication open-minded and cutting edge. We have consistently printed the work of the most brilliant and far-seeing young talent of the day. Every week we are forced to return writing which we cannot for one reason or another publish and include a brief but polite refusal. But this track you sent us demands a response as violent as the effect your words have had upon us. Drop dead. Keep your day job. Sincerely, the editors. De gustibus non disputandum est. You can't argue with taste? About taste. You can't argue about taste. God, Simon. The other 25 are almost as bad. I don't know why I bother. What do you mean you don't know why you bother? You don't bother because you know the poem is excellent. Do I? Of course you do. I'm not so sure sometimes. Can you sit there, look me straight in the eye, and tell me you don't think this poem is great? That it is not at once a work, a great lyrical beauty, an ethical depth? That it is not genuine, highly individual, and a profound meditation on the miracle of existence? I... <laughs> Can you? Uh, no, I can't. So you see, you have no choice. Can you recommend it to your friend, the publisher? Henry, can you recommend the poem to him? I mean, I think it's finished. For better or worse, it's book length. That might not be as easy as it seems. Why? Well, it's been a long time. My name might not carry as much weight as it once did with Angus. But he's your friend, right? We were close at one time. You said he respected your opinion. Look, Simon, opinions come and go. To be honest, my ideas, my writing, they haven't always been received well, or even calmly. They are upsetting. I'm a controversial man. You see, what I'm doing is too radical, too uncompromising. It'll take time for people to see its value. It's ahead of its time, perhaps, or maybe just a recommendation from me might do you as much harm as it does good. Henry, why can't I read Confession? Because certain work needs to be experienced all at once in order for one to appreciate the full force of its character. <laughs> 